Hi all, in this video, I am going to explain you why, when and how do you use wrapper classes in Salesforce. So let's get started. So right now, as you can see, I have created one class named as public class my new class. Now you can see there are two methods over here. One method is returning that subscribe to my channel and as it's going to return a string, that's why the return type is string. On the other hand, I have one more method which is going to return number 100 it is returning so the return type would be integer but what if your method is going to return anything it can return string it can return integer it can even return boolean in that case is how would you write for an example if your method is going to return string and boolean both of them right let's say string and integer you can't keep it like this right you cannot do string slash integer and you can return uh, high uh, or something like that and after that you can also return the integer as well you cannot do it right you cannot do this way so in such cases where you're not sure what your method return type would be in such cases we use wrapper classes in salesforce so let's understand with a real time diagram how wrapper classes is useful so first of all let's consider this as your bag okay now let's say you have to give there are a few people it's your birthday and you have to give different types of the chocolates to your friends within your school so what you do is let's say you have this kind of a wrapper Okay, you have a plastic plastic bag like this. So what you do is you will put all the things, all the chocolates that you have, different types of the chocolate, one one each of the chocolate, you will put it within the bag. And once that is done, you will wrap it and then give it to your friend, right? This is how we do it basically. So similarly, if you want to return different types of the data, you have to similarly create the wrapper class. So similarly, first by coding ways, first you need to create this kind of a bag. To do that, what you can do is you can create a class within a class. So right now I have a class within this class. I'm going to create one more public class wrapper class or let's I'm going to name it as plastic. OK, now I have defined the plastic. Now, once my plastic is ready, what I need to do is I need to put different types of the things inside it, different types of the integer variable, Boolean variable, string variable, all this kind of stuff I need to put inside. So let's say string. Uh, name okay integer integer uh, number okay boolean is true okay so what you did over here is that within that plastic that you created you put let's name it as is true okay within this plastic what you did is you put your different types of the chocolates right now once you have done you have to wrap it and give it to your friends right so now let's say you have one method let's name it as my friend right and i don't know what this method is going to return so that's why what i'm going to do is i'm going to use wrapper classes as the return type so plastic is the name of my wrapper class so public plastic and within this first of all i need what i need to do is i've created this plastic till this point and i have put the chocolate inside it now, in order to wrap it and give it to someone, what you need to do is within that function, you need to create the object of it. Right now, once you have done it, use that plastic variable dot whatever the name for an example, name was the one of the variable name equals to Salesforce in five minutes. OK, plastic dot name plastic dot number was one of the another variable i believe third one was the another variable where i can give uh, one two three four five six something like that okay plastic dot uh, is true i can give it as false now what's going to happen is anybody any friend who's going to use or any your developer is going to use this method he will get all these three return types at a one go itself if he calls this method he can get all this data which is of different type within one go so in simple terms, what I did was first I created a plastic that is a class and then within that plastic I have put within that class I have put different types of the variable string variable integer variable all these variables once I have put and then I wrapped it by ra wrapping means I just created an object and then I put all the values within that wrapper and then return the plastic object. So this is how you can use a wrapper class to return different types of the variables or different types of the data types of the variable where you do not know what your function would return. So if you found this video helpful, I request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel.